The development, which was given the go-ahead as long ago as 1979, has only been achieved after a long battle between developers and conservationists. The Prime Minister said that she hoped the Broadgate scheme would be an architectural monument of the future built during the technological revolution. Nearby, the crumbling brickwork of the earlier industrial revolution bore witness that in the city, times can change with frightening speed. Stuart used a phrase which he called lean, mean and add back. So you pair the building right back to the absolute minimum, pip squeaking the efficient things and we have to do heavily serviced buildings. How do you somehow retain the integrity as well? I've got a question here for you, Emily. Um, one and two Finsbury were conceived as a single building built in phases. Why wasn't number two listed at the same time as number one? So, as I said before, we kind of do you know, really thorough assessments of, of every building and the threshold for listing buildings of, of modern date is, is very high. They help how well a building actually survives and, and what's there to protect. Take a, make a judgment at that point about where that threshold of specialness was. Um, so that's, that's why the 14 or so buildings that were listed at the same time as this were listed. It doesn't mean that nothing else from this period will, will be listed in the future. What we're basically doing is we're improving what is already a great place for the future. That is a legacy.